Hi everybody, we're excited to share with you our first uh, share pickup of the year. And I just wanted to take a minute to show you a couple things that are going to be in your bag this week. This is the half share bag. So if you have a full share, you'll be getting two of these bags. Um, we've got a gourmet lettuce mix. There's about 10 or 12 different kinds of lettuce here. Similar to what you'd find at the store from Earthbound Farm. And that's an 8 ounce bag. Uh, we've also got some baby romaine lettuce. This is actually going to get bigger as the season progresses. Next few weeks you'll be getting some big romaine hearts, but we wanted to give you sort of a sample baby size here to start the season with. And we've also got some garlic scapes. You may not be familiar with these, but these are a great thing to cook with, and we've got some information about how to do that in the newsletter. There's also a 12 ounce bag of Lachinito dinosaur kale, which is great for also cooking with and all kinds of different things you can do there. We've got a five ounce bag of arugula, very fresh. There's 12 ounces of broccoli rabe. Some will find uh, flowers on it. Those are totally edible and really sweet, kind of a gourmet thing. There's also an eight ounce bag of rainbow Swiss chard. And then finally, we've got some cherry bell radishes for you to enjoy. Um, my mom wanted to come and show you a couple ways that you can prepare your Swiss chard and kale and just kind of help you with the cutting process if you're not familiar with how to work with those vegetables. when I get new vegetables I'm not sure what to do with them so I just wanted to show you a few things take your kale if you need to wash it go ahead and do that you'll see it has a big stem on the back so go ahead fold your kale completely in half lay it down on your cutting board and then you're going to just run your knife you don't have to get every speck of the stem off but most of it and set that aside a lot of recipes call for you not to use the stem then you just take your leaf and you cut it like this into pieces about this big and then that's that's that your um, Swiss chard you do the same way it's got the big stem and so then you're going to um, fold your fold your leaf in half like this and lay it on the cutting board and again just cut off that stem or a vein whatever you want to call it and set it aside but now I did want to show you one more thing you don't have to throw your stems away you can take those stems and use them. They will have to be cooked longer than the leaf part would, but take your kale stems, cut them into um, little chunks, about a half an inch big, or maybe even a little smaller, and then you can either saute them for a few minutes and then add your leaves to the recipe, or you can um, take the um, stems and you can put them in some soup. You can even put them in a little a freezer bag and you don't even have to cook them ahead. Put them in the freezer, and then when you're ready for a pot of soup, just pull your stems out, throw them in at the beginning stage when you're sauteing your onion, and let them cook the whole time that your soup is going. So don't be afraid of your kale and your Swiss chard. Go ahead and use them and enjoy them. We've got several good recipes, and if you want to use the whole thing, use your stems.